Hey, resin creators, how are you? My name is Catherine Swift, and I am the creative director here at Resin Obsession. And I want to take a moment to talk to you about something I get asked about a lot, and I'm going to show you here in a minute. So um, while we're um, before we get started, I just want to let you know um, if you have help or need um, help getting your resin supplies and that kind of thing, by all means, please come over to resinobsession.com. Um, we've got advice and we've got the supplies to help you make something amazing with your next project. So I'm going to turn this camera around and um, focus it here on my table so we can talk about what's going on today. There we go. Let me zoom in a little bit here. All right. So I get questions from you guys and one of the ones that I get frequently is why is my resin bendy okay so I want to take a moment to cover that today and what you can do about it so these are two different resin coasters right and you guys are pretty smart I'm sure you figured that out and they are made with two different resin formulas now I'm going to show you why that's important here in a minute okay this coaster was made with the Resin Obsession Super Clear Resin, and I'm gonna try and bend it, and it's not wanting to bend. Pretty stiff, like if I wanted to, I could break it if I really wanted to put some pressure on it, but you can see I'm pushing on it, because I don't wanna break it, but I'm pushing on it, and I'm not bending it at all. Okay, versus this coaster, which was made with a different resin, and you can see, ooh, right, it bends pretty easily. Okay, both of these coasters were made about a month ago and under the same circumstances, like I made them both on the same day and um, so same studio temperature, right, same techniques and all that. And you might be wondering, well, why is this one bending? So not only did I use a different resin for this, but I used a doming resin to make this coaster, all right? So you might be wondering, well, what's a doming resin and why is that important? So when you are using resin, you need to know what you're going to make so you can choose the right resin. And what that um, one of the first big questions that that comes down to is, are you going to use resin in a mold or are you going to use it to cover a surface? So if you're going to use resin in a mold, like which is what I did with both of these projects, you need to use a casting resin. And that's important because casting resins are formulated in such a way um, very hard and durable in molds. And so the Resin Obsession Super Clear Resin is a casting resin. It's what I used in this mold. And you can see it doesn't want to bend. Versus this resin, which is a doming resin. So this resin actually is meant to go on bezels. It's meant to go on like other surfaces. Say you wanted to decorate a tile or some other um, pieces like that. It is not designed to go in molds. So um, these formulas tend to be much more flexible, but because you're using it like on another surface, so like you're using it on a bezel and you're not going to go around and you're not going to, you know, try and crank on your bezel and misshape it. So that's why you don't necessarily notice that it's bendy, but when you use it in something like a mold, you know, it gets quite flexible. So how do you know if you're using a casting resin or a doming resin? Well, if it's a resin that you buy from Resin Obsession, we tell you that information. We've got a resin buying guide that you can check, or obviously you can send me a message and say, hey, I want to be sure I'm buying a casting resin, or I want to be sure I'm buying a doming resin. What do you recommend? Um, otherwise, if you don't know, you need to ask your manufacturer or wherever you're getting your resin. And I'll, I'll give you another little pro tip here. If somebody tells you that you can use them for both, yeah. This is what happens, okay? So it's not like if you put a doming resin in a mold, the resin is going to start shrieking and tell you, no, don't do that to me because I'm going to cure bendy. It would be super helpful if it did, but it doesn't. Okay, so, so at this point, right, this coaster's had an extra month to cure and you can see that it's still really bendy. So, you know, if this were, you know, like this is a coaster just for me, you know, I know what's going on. I'm not gonna you know, <laughs> I know to be careful with it or, you know, be careful when I use it. Um, something like this though, I would not sell. So if you are making coasters to sell or you're gifting them, I, I don't know that this is really um, appropriate. You know, I would tell you next time use a casting resin to make your coasters. Um, but otherwise, right, you can see it cured fine. It's still pretty, just, you know, it's bendy, but you know what? For, for those of you who are having problems with bendy resin, check your resin formula 
and you might be able to use a different formula and get better results. So thanks for stopping by today. When you need supplies for that next resin project, I would love to help you with that. Come on over to resinobsession.com and we can help you get started. Okay, everybody, thanks for tuning in.